What's up boys and girls, today we're doing back and biceps. For back, I like to start off with some vertical movement, and I usually start off with pull-ups. If you are having trouble with pull-ups, try getting yourself a weight bell and start doing weighted pull-ups. Ever since I started doing these about a month ago, I put on about 10 reps of body weight pull-ups on top of my other 10. And since I'm putting on extra weight, I don't do too many reps of these. I stick by 4 sets of 8 with 30 pounds. So when you're doing pull-ups, make sure you have a nice control and don't take advantage of momentum because that's cheating. So go all the way down and all the way up. So after pull-ups, I like to jump onto horizontal movements with rows. Usually I do seated rows, but this gym ain't got the machine, so I'm stuck with dumbbells. So today I did 4 sets of dumbbell rows, started off with 95 pounds and ended in 100. You want to keep these uh, with high volume, so I did anything above 8, and that usually means 8 to 10. Make sure you have a good contraction all the way through and avoid using your bicep. And you can do this by imagining your hand as a hook and dry with your elbow. And that way you can keep uh, the contraction in your lats and not in other body parts like biceps and shoulder. And then I like to finish off my back with some more vertical movement with usually cable work. So today I doing some straight lat pull down to finish off my lats. When I'm doing cable work, I try not to do heavy weight and I try not to let my ego get the best of me. So I'm just sticking with some 70. Make sure you, you do high reps on these and that means anything more than 8 and just feel a good contraction before you end the workout. For arms, especially the biceps, I like to do supersets. That means I can get out of the gym quicker and I can keep my biceps under tension. So today I'm doing some easy 20 with 10 reps on the outside and 10 reps on the inside of an easy bar. These are really good for your bicep brachii because you're keeping your tension in a supinated grip the whole time and you're doing 20 reps of these. For better contraction of your brachii, try these slow curls. Keep your grip supinated and go all the way up and down as slow as possible. That way, you're able to have a better contraction and trust me, you're going to feel that pump if you have a good control all, all the way throughout. When you're doing curls, make sure you don't swing the dumbbells and keep your back straight. If you can't do that, that means the dumbbells are too heavy for you and you gotta drop your weight. Biceps are small muscle groups so you don't need heavy weight to stimulate them. What you need is a good contraction. And for the last workout, I decided to switch it up for some hammer curl with a neutral grip. Your biceps are not just the brachii. This workout targets the corcobrachialis and that's the little peak when you flex. Alright, that's it for today. Hope you learned something new. I'll see you next time on my next workout. Peace.